little guy. We're on a rooftop in Brooklyn, New York, uh, teaching kids about where their food comes from. So to know that Center for Food Safety is out there making these big policy changes really gives us hope and, and makes us feel that we're supported and that we're all in this together. The Center for Food Safety, it seems to me, is filling a gap uh, in the government. If we had a terrific food safety system in the country, we wouldn't need the Center for Food Safety to be advocating for a healthier food system. We've done a lot of work generating scientific analysis, and Center for Food Safety has turned that into legal action. They've had a vision of a better way to produce food, a, a better way to grow, a better way to farm, and they were way ahead of their time. We represent farmers, we represent environmental organizations, we represent consumers uh, against powerful corporations and against the government. And you know, to that extent, you know, we are the lawyers for the rebellion. But if we didn't do what we do, uh, nobody would. They're like David and Goliath. I mean, when they have to, Andy and his team get up there and they are brilliant litigators. And they go up against the big guys. The Center for Food Safety has been very instrumental in working with uh, me and the bee industry uh, on these problems that we're having with the bees dying. In particular, we now are, are in a lawsuit that CFS has helped uh, set up for us uh, against EPA on, um, on neonics. All I can do is take my hat off and thank God every day for the staff and the people and all of the sources that support the center and its staff for what they do because it is selfless, it is diligent, it's tenacious, and we couldn't have battled this to this point of defending the right except for the center and its staff. People like me, who find themselves in a difficult social situation where there seems to be no one to, to speak with my perspective, the Center for Food Safety gave me the voice I needed to make other people aware of the situation and to try to correct it. I think when you look at the work that the Center for Food Safety does, it connects a lot of dots and it connects a lot of people and resources and information in a way that sometimes is difficult uh, for someone who's sitting at the computer reading something on the internet and wondering, what do I do next? It is so important that organizations like Center for Food Safety continue their work to defend seed freedom and food freedom. The Center for Food Safety has stood by the farmers to defend their rights. If you want to protect your seed, if you want to protect your food, join the movements of the Center for Food Safety.